This is MMA Outbreak. Okay, moving on to the third fight from today's Oddsbreaker segment. It comes to us from UFC on Fox 4. An exciting scrap at lightweight. Let's get Brett's take first. Joe Lozon versus Terry Edom. I'm going to open up Lozon, a 2-1 to one favorite. He's coming in at minus 205. The comeback's going to be plus 155 on Terry Edom. What's your take and what's your bet? Well, I think you're right, Nick, that it's going to be an exciting fight. These guys have somewhat similar of styles. Um, you know, I wish I was getting a little bit more value uh, on Lozon. I think that the line is maybe a little bit too high. Uh, but I can't stay away from him. I got to go Lozon just because I think that he wins this fight nine times out of ten. Uh, like I said, these guys are similar in styles, but the difference is Lozon is just more athletic, I believe. I believe he is the better wrestler. Um, he has the advantage as far as where the fight takes place. I think that he'll dictate that. I think that this fight will kind of be won in scrambles, in position gaining opportunities, and Joe Lozon is terrific at that. I don't see any, either of them knocking each other out on the feet. I think it'll be kind of a, a stalemate on the feet, and then when it goes to the ground, I think Lozon has the advantage, so I've got to go Lozon, even though I wish I was getting a little bit more money for him. Okay, so Brett is going to go with the slight favor here, minus 205. It's going to be 1,025 to win 500 on Joe Lozon. And let's get Larry's take on this fight. Who do you got? I have Lozon as well, although I wouldn't bet it. I, I would load up on the other three fights that we're talking about. And the reason I say that is because these guys, to me, are very evenly matched. Similar strengths in terms of, of the jiu-jitsu. Both of them love to win by finish. Uh, there's, if I could bet that it would be exciting, I would. 13 of their 14 last combined fights have ended with post-fight bonuses. I think Edom is the better striker, but I think that Lausanne is physically stronger, more aggressive, and will be able to impose as well. And while they're both great submission artists, I think that Joe's submission game is more dynamic than Edom's. The thing that bothers me in betting Joe, and I'm not picking Edom, I am picking Lausanne, is that seven of his eight wins come by the seven minute and nine second mark in a fight because he's admitted he goes for broke, and then he tends to gas. Edom has only been finished twice in his career. So it just seems to me like as much as I like Lausanne, I don't like him enough to lay the money. Okay, so good stuff. Now, for show's sake, you are going to lay the juice. It's going to be minus 205, so again, 1,025 to win 500. Both of our experts do agree, but they're saying tread cautiously in this fight, and I'd have to agree with them as well. Well, that's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. You can look for the odds that Nick broke right here on the show to start popping up at the sport books throughout the week. And I want to send a big special thanks to our two guests, Brett Akimoto and Larry Pepe. Great information, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. Terrific show. And for all the latest updates on the MMA Ozbreaker show, make sure you check us out on Twitter at MMA Ozbreaker. For Miguel Adorati, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.